The official Junior BSB and Road to Moto GP series with riders as young as six years of age is back at Red Lodge in Suffolk. This is the Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship. The Mini Moto rookie class is the first class up this weekend. Now, the man who is uh, on fire, just turn around, Sam. Let's have a look at your, your new graphics on the back of your suit. The Munson burner, Sam Munson. Great nickname that uh, I happen to uh, give him, which uh, you quite like. On fire, and on fire is right because you've won. You won all three races last time. You've now won six in a row. Now, what's that done for your confidence? It makes me feel really happy and gives me more confidence for this weekend. And this weekend, Red Lodge, I mean, what are you, what are you thinking? What's your pace looking like at the moment? They're pretty stir pretty fast. Uh, just The track's just nice and tight and twisty for me. And can you put three wins together? Because if you put three wins together this weekend, by definition, that means you go out here with a championship lead. How far are you off the championship lead at the moment? Three points and four points to get the championship lead. OK, so three wins this weekend. Is that possible? Nine wins in a row? You're looking sort of Casey O'Gorman-esque, really. I'm just, I'm just trying to, because my biggest rival so far is Oli Horner. OK, well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Let's kick off with those grid positions for that Mini Moto Rookies race. And it is Ollie Horner riding the 70 bike on pole. Seven podiums, no wins this year though for the nine year old. Sam Munson comes next. One podium and those seven race wins. Ruben Bray goes off P3 with two race wins and six podiums. The championship leader, Henry McCartney, goes off P4, but will he be the championship leader after this race? Finn and Wuerty goes off P5. The eight-year-old from Bulls Cannon in Ireland. Ollie Sims goes off P6. The eight-year-old from Western Supermare off P7. It's Archie Gibbs, the six-year-old from Tewkesbury, one of the youngest riders in the championship. Blake Wilson comes next. He goes off P8. Warwick Brady is out of position. He's had two race wins this year, two podiums, but he's got to go off P9. Off P10, it's Charlie Huntingford, the eight-year-old from Stowmarket. Then comes Max Werity going off P11. His brother's further up the field. Jacob Stevenson comes next, going off P12, the nine-year-old from Bursco. The seven-year-old from Walesby is Elliot Jones. He's out of position down on P13 judging by his performance at uh, Tattershall. Bill Harris comes next, going off P14. And then uh, some new boys and girls for us. Felix Dorling goes off 15. Off 16, it's Luke Fitchett on the 96 bike, going off P17. It's a big cool fab welcome to Marco Holt, riding the 310 bike. How do you get all those numbers on those little bikes? Luke Hutchinson comes next off P18. Then Charlie Cunningham goes off P19 and rounding out the grid, new to the championship, it's a first appearance for Izzy Carter, the young lady riding the 46 bike. Here we go, Jake. Horner, Munson, Bray and McCartney, here we go, riding off into the distance and it's a cracking start from Ollie Horner up the inside, that is a beautiful start from Ruben Bray, up in a second position, cracking start as we go through the first hairpin, up into the right-hander and it's an absolutely legendary launch from Ollie Horner who has already got himself into a clear bit of air. Great start there by Henry McCartney from P4, Fred Flintstone-like round the outside of his main championship challenger as things stand at the moment, I say that, that was Sam Munson, of course, around the outside of Sam Munson to take P3 and drop Munson back to fourth. I say he's the main championship contender. This man in front here, Ollie Horner, he could be the main championship contender by the end of the weekend. In fact, he could have the championship lead by the end of the weekend. He's been pretty dominant this weekend. Munson mentioned him earlier that he could be the one to beat this weekend and that prophecy is proving true as things stand. 
Warner it is that leads from Bray. Then the championship leader in third, Henry McCartney. Sam Munson comes next. Top four in the championship in the top four. Finn and Werity in fifth position, just trying to stay in touch with the top four as we go into the second lap. Good to see the newcomers in the field as they all start to battle in for the position. There's your championship leader, Henry McCartney, trying to close in on Ruben Bray as they battle for second position, but watch out for the Munson burn-up. He is right there in fourth position, trying to make his way through. And as we've already said, if he gets into third position, they will be dead level in the points, but McCartney is not going to allow that to happen. Ruben Bray is already under some pressure here, and it's all allowed. Ollie Horner an absolutely glorious run out front so he could take a very easy victory but these three are going to duke out for the last two places on the podium it's going to be very exciting to watch these two duke it out Bray uh, McCartney for second and third and waiting in the wings Sam Munson in fourth position with Finn and Werity quite a way back now and up to sixth has come Warwick Brady well back in fact these four well clear but look at this this is the battle for the uh, championship lead well uh, I say that tie for the championship lead Sam Munson mentioned earlier that, that man there Ollie Horner was uh, the man he probably thought he'd have to beat this weekend and obviously he was right about that but uh, Ruben Bray in second place coming under pressure from McCartney who in turn is under pressure from Munson so if Munson overtakes McCartney here he will score an extra three points McCartney will lose three points and they will be tied for the championship lead if that happens. Fasc but plenty of racing to go yet, Jake. Absolutely, I was just gonna say, fascinating to see that we've got Horner and Bray in first and second places when they are trying to close down the gap between McCartney and Munson for the championship. Really exciting to see them gaining a few more points on the riders behind them as they battle away. But Ruben Bray riding with such confidence in the defensive zone of breaking here as he just hangs on in front of McCartney and Munson. He's not going to be intimidated, is he? He's got a very different racing line as well to the two young riders behind him. There's Horner out in front. Look, Bray so much tighter on the way through that right-hand hairpin as he comes into the left. McCartney and Munson are close, but not close enough. These two battling for the championship in third and fourth here, McCartney and Munson, but that man there, Ollie Horner, tell you what, if he has a sterling couple of races tomorrow, he could go out of here with a championship lead. I can't remember how far behind he was, but if he keeps winning and these two don't finish in the top sort of two or three positions then Ollie Horner could really go right. out of here with the championship lead this championship could go right the way to the final round I'm pretty sure it is going to go right the way to the final round to right. be honest it's very tight in the rookies championship in 2018 tighter than I've known it in the last couple of seasons certainly and these three or four riders all still have a chance to make a play for it it's up the inside trying to come right round the outside Munson's going to duck on the inside that's a beautiful bit of racing but right back on the inside McCartney takes it straight back again core oh, the Munson burner was firing on all cylinders there as he dived around the outside then tucked in for the inside but unfortunately the way the bike traveled through the apex of the corner just allowed McCartney to slip back through on the inside very exciting battle already from these guys as they continue to charge forward they come through onto the long stretch towards that final chicane once again and this is a really exciting tussle now there is Horner this is Carter this is, uh, is his first Appearance in the championship. Now you can see, loving the Valentino Rossi uh, yeah. <laughs> style of uh, bike and leather she's got there. Obviously, we know who her hero is. All three of these guys battle for second place, make their way through. Now, bear in mind, guys, if you're watching that, thinking, well, she's not going very fast, but you have to pretty much learn on track while you're racing. There's Finn and Werity going through, leading the chase back in fifth. Pick your favourite drivers out of that lot. Ollie Sims has managed to get back through into sixth position in front of Warwick Brady. I think Charlie Huntingford's still in that mix as well as we just watched the uh, 10 of Max Werity going through. Or is that Bill Harris actually? No, there is Max Werity because he's got the blue and white suit. They both carried number 10 at various points over the course of the season. Bray is definitely coming under some massive pressure now from Munson who is into third position. He has found a way through now past McCartney. Now if it stays like this, then the points tally is going to be even between the two top riders in the championship. Bray still coming under massive pressure. Can McCartney find a way through and into second place? Not if Ruben Bray's got anything to say about it. This is where, oh, did you see the twitch as he came back on the power? And that unsettled Munson. Munson's going to try the same trick, but Ruben Bray is prepared for him. Yeah, it's Munson in third place, McCartney in fourth, of course. Munson going for second. If he can get by, that will give him the championship lead as things stand. But at the moment, as things stand, on track, 
They are tied for the championship lead. Of course, there's two races coming up tomorrow that we're not here to film. So the championship points you'll see at the end of this race will take those into account. And who knows, you, you would come Ooh. here thinking that it would be either of these two, Munson or McCartney, that go away from here with the championship lead. Not necessarily. That could be that man there, Ollie Horner. That's just getting a really big wobble there as McCartney came off the turn into the last lap. Horner is way, uh, way clear of the rest of them. Here comes McCartney back for more on Munson. Munson moves across to defend. This is a really big problem for Sam Munson in third position because he's got attack from uh, the man behind him. Uh, Henry McCartney, who's trying to assert himself back in the lead of the championship as they go through traffic at exactly the right moment for Ruben Bray to hang on to second place. That was my other uh, point, that Sam Munson is in trouble here because he's trying to lap the slower riders while getting back on the pace of Ruben Bray. He got a really good exit out of the left-hander there. There might be an opportunity. Can he make this stick as they go through top curve? Meanwhile, that man out in front has been absolutely flawless all day long. An amazing run here from Ollie Horner, who's been fantastic as they come up to the final corner and the checkered flag is ready to fly. Ollie Horner has been absolutely invincible in this first race of the weekend. Terrific job from Ollie Horner. He's really, really asserted himself at the top. Bray just getting there in front of a very impressed Munson, banging the handlebars as he came across the line in front of Henry McCartney. I don't know if that was joy or frustration that he's beaten him, uh, that he's beaten McCartney or just failed to, to get one over on Ruben Bray. As fifth across the line is Finn and Werity in front of the sixth place man, Charlie Huntingford, who came back in the final stages. Great ride. The official top five then on your screen now, and that result means basically Sam Munson and Henry McCartney at this stage of the weekend tied for the championship lead. On Sunday, the rain would come and turn results on their head. Finn and Werity was the winner of race two, with Ruben Bray winning race three, his third win of the season. But Ollie Horner's consistency in races two and three, second in both races, has given him the championship lead. But look at the championship points, just 13 points separating first from fourth. This championship is going all the way.